welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Um, it's a Sunday, Valentine's Day. More importantly, it's my birthday. So, today I turn uh, 52. I'm a 1969 model. So, for my birthday, we get to go feed some cows, which I enjoy. But it's um, temperature is bouncing between zero and negative one. And it's working its way down to supposed to be negative 11. So we're trying to get around, get some ice broke, uh, get these cows fed. We've got some cows coming in right here. And we've been feeding them. I've been feeding them every day and chopping the ice because it's been about zero every day. So we're trying to get all these cows fed and got caked them the last two days. Now we got some hay. So we're going to get some hay on them and eat them and get some ice broke. So you guys. If you like cold weather, tag along because we got a lot of ice to chop, a lot of hay to put out. So let me catch this water right here. It doesn't look too bad. Let me catch it right quick. So this water here, we I let this thing run 24 hours a day, and that keeps that warmer water coming in. So luckily, it's just pretty much flush from the snow. Yesterday, I'm telling you, there's like a hundred of them right here. Blue Jay, yeah. I mean, there were there were there were so many on the ground, the ground was blue. All right, let's go get two more bales. feed this pasture I have one cow he comes out and you know, he follows these cows in and he'll line up and eat cake with them so I call him my pet I see him every day I feed him I don't see him right now he might be buried up but anyway so all right so we got these cows taken care of there's 120 cows here we got 4,000 pounds of hay put out for them so they're good for the night. It's supposed to get down to zero right now. It's gonna get down to a negative 11 here in a little bit. So what we need to do now is let's go up top. Uh, it's same pasture, but it's, it's about two miles away and we'll chop the ice up top for the deer. We got a bunch of deer that live up there and I'll all make sure they got water. Sounds good. Yeah, it's like they're happy. These cows here, so normally we'd be calving at this time. A lot of my neighbors are actually calving. But right now, these cows, they are droughted out in Alpine. So they, these cows came up here from Alpine, Texas. So they uh, they won't start calving for another month and a half. So I 
guess in a good way being behind we kind of we missed this storm i tell you another thing that kind of bothers me about this weather so in 2011 middle of february just like this it it was um they got down to negative 16 and then three months later in may it got up to 116 and that was the worst drought we've ever had here i think here on the ranch we had seven inches of rain that whole year so this is kind of setting up just like it i mean i know it doesn't mean anything but i'm telling you this is unusual for us to have negative 11 in the middle of february usually in the middle of february we start kind of getting some nice days this is bad here so i hope it's not another 2011 that was that was awful all right we're gonna run up on top of the cap rock here and uh, let's chop some ice up there all right I think I got palpate glow. I'll see if I can find it. I got it. I got it. It's in the mud. Oh, golden. Look at there. Good deal. Uh, well, the reason this is so important, I got an axe handle at the house, but I don't have another axe. I mean, I've got a sledgehammer axe and a pickup, but I'll... Uh, we're about, so it's about 45 minute drive back to the house. Always keep a palpate glove with you. <laughs> it's only zero. Yeah, happy birthday to me. Drink. 
my little old spot we ran the geese off. No geese would have hurry up and come back. Quite a few more pastures to get through and get some cows fed, but um, I wanted I had something I had another birthday present today. YouTube gave me a birthday present, and it was the one that remember palpating the mares, collecting the studs. You can't unsee this one. My first video went over a million views, so thank you for that. Uh, that was pretty cool, I think. So, anyways, well, what we're doing here is we're just gonna survive the storm. We got a big storm rolling through. Um, hopefully everybody in South Texas is prepared and watch my generator video and y'all uh, don't forget to follow and like and subscribe and hey you know what we, you know what we should do I know everybody's gonna make fun of my dirty dirty pickup well my regular pickups are Hummers I think next week maybe we ought to do one on the on the Hummers that's what I'll do so next week I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video I'm gonna get my Hummers out and show you how we feed with the Hummers and, and how we uh, equip all my Hummers all right till next week we'll see you